Hey guys, Grass on here, playing more Clash, um, Rage Shadow Legends. So, um, yesterday we were building the ultimate defense team. So we had, so, I have since up, I have since gotten Gorgrob in armor, and I didn't start with Hackhorn. So, here's what they are. Um, Miscreated Monster has a total of 40, 44,000, 45,000 HP. And my other, like, my high, other highest HP is only, is like 7,000 less, or 6,000 less. So he's got my, he's got the most HP. Um, he's got HP percent everything. So, mis so miscreated monster just has, has tons of HP. The Stop. Okay. So miscreated monster just has a ton of HP. Gorgrob has just... Gorgrob's speed. Gorgrob, I believe, is my fastest champion. I think Sylve the Drakes is my other fastest. With 132. And Gorgrob is 150. So he's my fastest by 18, and I still haven't got two pieces on him. I haven't found any other speed things. I don't have, like, um... I could just throw any two speed things on him. I just didn't have other speed stuff. So HP and defense is the other things he needs. So I guess I'll give him this and I'll upgrade that, because that's tons of HP. And that's also HP. So upgrade these and we'll come back in a moment. Oh, and his speed is now... Um, take off 8. His speed is now 160... One, which is easily my fastest. So I'll upgrade these and I'll, come, I'll be right back. I just upgraded this from level 0 to 12 without any failures. So it's now at 33% HP. And the chest plate is 19%. So he's now got 23,000 23, HP. I'm not going to max his armor or anything yet, but Gorgrob is all about speed. Um... Because his skills, he's just support. This is like increased turn meter and an increased attack. So of course I also want him going first for the in so he puts the increased attack on. This is revival that allies and heal them. A speed increase in battle. And by 23%, that's an extra like... 22 or 21 speed he'd get. So in arena, he adds 21 speed. That puts him up to... 90? So it's 182. So that's a giant... He's the guy. He would be super fast. He's, he'd almost double some of my other guys. He would, like, double, like, Occult Brawler and stuff. Um, and then accuracy is also kind of important with this one. So his accuracy is only 10. Do I have a good ring for him? I guess look at that. Um, why are his stats red? Okay. Um, and the other one he had to do is Hackhorn. So Hackhorn needs HP stuff. So Hackhorn, we also want to give we want to give him all the health he can get. Um, he's also got the in Inhuman Force, which gives him the stun. He's got cleansing and tons of damage. So, how much does an immunity set take? Immunity is four. Um, so a counterattack set might be good, but I think health is also going to just be better. So hang on. Okay, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking immortal. So it's plus 15% HP and heals every turn. Um, there's also regen. Regeneration. Which is heals by 15% every turn. So I can only have one of these sets on. Um, this one could also be good. He takes off 25% of his own HP. Yeah, actually Frenzy could be really good. Because he's taking off his own HP. Then he'll automatically get like a 50% turn meter increase. 
that plus some of the auto healing could be really good. So I think, um, I was almost thinking Frenzy for Gorgorod, but I think Regen and, um, Immortal is probably best. So let's see what we have for actual HP stuff. So we're looking for HP percent boots. Chest plate, that's a good one. Is there a better one here, though? It's an HP percent with nothing else good. This one's got HP percent and HP number. Nope, this is the best chest plate. Now what about boots? That's speed boots. These ones only need to be upgraded, so I'll check these. I'll just come back once I've got a fully equipped and we'll, and we'll see what we, what we can do. So, um, it might be a little noisy because it's vacuuming in the background, but this is what I've gone with. So that gives us heals by 15% every turn, so, that he, so it's a total of healing by 18% every turn, and plus 15% HP. So we're healing every turn. Um, it is only 30,000 HP. Which is like... Better than Gorgrob, it's not better than Miscreated, but it's nowhere near that even. Um, I, did, I just didn't have very much good HP armor. This stuff can still get better. This one's not even upgraded. So I keep upgrading some of this stuff then. Okay, so... Oh! It's finally there. I didn't even see it upgrade. Okay, so the game was glitching out for some reason, but my, those artifacts were being really stubborn. I spent a good 3 million just getting the two of them to level 16, maybe 3.5. We've now got a plus 50% HP and a plus 40% HP. So his HP is now 25 plus 15 is 40,000. So. Actually, yeah, that's better than Syl. She's got 20 and 13. He's got 15 and 24. So Miscreated has 45,000, he has nearly 40,000. Miscreated actually has a worse chest piece, only getting 40% of my HP. So they are both very high HP, um, he's also got a whole lot of resistance, and he's got very little accuracy, unfortunately. I do want high accuracy, because he does have the... High resistance is important, because you don't want to get him, like, block buffs or something. Because he's got the cleansing, so you don't really want him getting stunned or anything either. Um, you do want him to have high accuracy, though, because he does have this ability. Um, I just couldn't find much ac- there was just- I just- I put whatever HP stuff on, if it just didn't come with accuracy, there's nothing I can do. So it costs- it costs a good 8 to 10 million silver to get all these artifacts up to this point. And now the team should be built. Gorgrob has insane speed, Miscreated Monster has insane health, and Hackworn is my second highest health. But also in crazy amount of health, 45,000. Or 40,000. And then Syl is the main damage dealer. Hackhorn, of course, being a secondary damage dealer with 40,000 HP, he'll be dealing half of that, which is 20,000 to each enemy. It should be 20,000 to each enemy. I doubt. I don't think it's only five. I don't think it's 20,000 total. I think it's that much to each enemy. It's going into Classic Arena now. This was my previous team with 78,000 power. This is my new team. So. They apparently do have considerably less power. Um, not sure if that's exactly true, because they, because the other ones may have had more power, but these ones have like stunning and AOE revive and tons of healing, tons of health. Um, also, I can put either I can't put this guy's speed in because that's in dungeons, but I can either give him plus twenty three percent speed or plus thirty three percent HP. So, I'll try the plus. I'll try the speed aura first. This video is probably going to be short, because I have to go do some cooking soon or something. So with the speed aura, you can see they all have a ton of health. With the speed aura, I'm like going twice as fast, almost, uh, almost as their slowest guy. So give him the surge. That'll allow him to go first. Hit that, get an extra turn, boom. 
and that did do 11 and 13,000 damage. So that is supposed to do... So it is supposed to take off 25% of his max HP and then deal 50% of his max HP to enemies. So it should deal 20,000, but of course they probably have high defense, or they probably had some defense to block some of the damage. So... I'm um, not... I don't... I kind of do want to be careful, so let's go against this one. So I can cha interchange the speed and the health lead. And the other problem is they're all blue, so I have nothing to fight any red guys properly. The Surge for the increased attack, and that's the other thing. He's got a 50% increased attack there. So with the 50% increased attack, he's got... His damage is based off HP, though. That move, not attack, so it doesn't actually matter that much. It doesn't double damage, it just, it just doubles its, its attack. But you can see, like, how hard that nuked. Got that. Here I can use Animate for healing. Could use the Cleansing, but I don't need to. So I do need to increase his accuracy so he can actually, like, stun guys with his A1. And again, yeah, I have I have no no like good abilities against the red. But the team is just really good in general. So it pretty much doesn't matter even. So fighting I can't fight this trend team. Why did I even click that? That's like f really strong team. I'm thinking no to this one. For this one, I'm going to bring in the health lead. So I assume there's going to be an AOE decreased defense and then a big nuke right at the beginning. And so there's the... There's a hard hit. There's a second hard hit. Now they're doing a bunch of that. I'm going to use that ability. I got the extra turn, so I can try and stun them. Hit pretty hard there. Hoping for some more stunning there. Otherwise, I may as well have used Spooky Groan. Um, here I can use Animate. And right away, their first member will die. Uh, that's fine. God damn it. To use Surge. And try and get rid of their Kale. Die. Okay, use the stun. That's really weak. Try and get the boost off Kale. Use the cleanse. Okay, try and get rid of the her. That's annoying. Not gonna get a revive here for a little while, am I? I have to kill their one person. Then I might get that footing back. Okay, that's not super helpful. It's not a pop carry, is it? It's just a general healer. Okay, finish her off. Kale is stunned. I'm gonna try and finish off the one more guy first. So with him, he's got the cleanse, and then he heals more if he had to remove any debuffs. So here I don't even need to do anything. I don't even need to do any reviving. So that was a team that was probably much stronger than me and would have just destroyed my other team. 
But I was able to win with that. Um, who else can I fight? This team, maybe? There's 70,000 power. They've got a speed increase. So I can assume they're gonna go first, but I'm gonna try and put my speed in anyway. Because if they're gonna go first, I probably wanna have more health. If otherwise, I wanna probably try and go first. There we go, so I can boost them. And it is a 15% increased turn meter. So it, if he goes first, it, it becomes incredibly likely my other guys will go first. I'm gonna do this, because I assume one of them's gonna attack. Surprisingly, oh yeah, the one did there. How the heck did it do so much damage? I'm gonna bring him back. He's animate to heal them. It is actually good because of my hack word, if they all get some sort of just small debuffs and then I can remove them with him. Um. Okay, the, I don't want to deal with the Virgis yet first, because he's got the shield. Actually, I just can't deal with these guys. They've got too much health. They've all just got too much health. I don't think they have much attack. They just have, again, tons of health. I don't think I can deal enough damage. Unless they don't have any reviving... I don't know if the person on the left has reviving. If not, I can maybe kill the jack. The pumpkin, the harvest jack, is it? If they don't have a reviving, I can maybe kill him. Yeah, I might be able to kill him here. Couldn't get a stun. He's not doing very much damage. I might not be able to get, like, any stuns on him, though. If I could have had to go again to get him. I don't think anyone here has... I don't think anyone on his team has reviving. Put some sort of debuff. No. That's still fine. Ah, uh, they're probably gonna kill him here. Oh, no, she didn't. I kind of want to kill the Virgis next. I know Virgis is very annoying to kill though, because he just has so much shielding constantly. I think it's like whenever you hurt, whenever you deal damage to him, he puts a shield on. So as soon as you break through the shield and actually hit him, he puts on another shield. Yeah, he's not got enough damage to actually kill me though. Stunned. I'm gonna bring him back. So the crits on Virgis are very important. I can't quite animate yet. Is that gonna... No, it didn't quite kill him. See, I did 23 damage there and he just gets the shield back. Stun him, no. Okay, this is gonna be a hard fight, I think I can win this one though. Okay, did a whole bunch of damage to Virgis, but he immediately healed again. If he, if the one guy survives, I can use animate. Bring the miscreated monster back. That's the important part. Okay, I need to take that Verges out now. There we go, he's dead now. Now with him dead... I'm probably gonna attack the guy with the less he least health. So that guy has less health. He's... I'm bad affinity towards him, but he's got very little health. I probably should have been targeting him before the Virgis, actually, because he's really weak. 
Yeah, I definitely should have gone after him first. I mainly do that for the healing. But yeah, now we've definitely won this one. So he had a very tanky team. Like, you saw that, right? That was, like, what should have been 20,000 damage only did 3,000. And he's, like, not even hitting for 1,000 to hit. So his team is very, very heavy defense. I have a problem taking down her, actually. Increase attack. I might just not be able to win because I can't do enough damage to her. She's just got so much auto healing and her crazy def strong defense move. Pull off the def I need Gorgrob to remove her defense and then I need Scylla Drake to get a couple extra turns. See, she just heals by... She is the shadow heal. So she just heals by, like, a certain amount of her max HP every, every time one of my guys is healed, once per turn. And she just seems to have, like, an immortal set or something on, too. So she's just healing by so much. And I haven't been able to land a single stun on her. May as well use the heal now while she's not got shadow heal. Okay, waste her shadow heal. Now I just need a, I need a whole bunch of, like, extra turns or something. Or I need to land some sort of stunning. He should be landing stuns by now. So should miscreate a monster, as well as decrease defenses. But, like, look at that. She just healed another 7,000, and I can't, I can't even... She's got so much defense, I can't do 7,000 damage in before she goes again, unless I have some sort of stunning. I think she's just got crazy high resistance, too. And then she does that, and I can't... I haven't, like... What does Resolute Defense do? Does it just increase her... What's it called? By some crazy amount? Her resistance? I've not been able to land a single debuff. And I can barely get through her crazy high defense. Does it just make her act as though she has, like, a certain amount of, like crazy high defense. Like, the 20,000 hit did 3,000. If the 20,000 hit does 3,000, I'm doing one sick, one seventh the amount of damage I'm supposed to be. Like, I can, I can just stick this on auto. I'm dealing one seventh of the amount of damage I'm supposed to be. Meaning, she, if she's healing 7,000 and I'm dealing one seventh of the damage, I have to deal 49,000 damage a turn for her to not heal it next turn, plus get through her couple thousand health shield. Maybe that's a 10,000 health shield. So, so every, every like three or four turns, I've got to get through a 10,000 health shield. Times seven is another 70,000 damage I have to do. I, I learned I landed the first stun there. I'm, I don't think I can beat this one. Like it, it's just gonna end. It ends in a draw. It's not even a defeat. It just it's a draw. I can't win. There should be some sort of reward for a draw. This guy got a speed lead on a bushy, which is not very good. 
I'll, st- I'll go with a speed, speed lead again. But when I have the health lead, I think it's like a, a third increase to health. So like, from mis- from like, the guy's 40,000, that increases even more. And actually, the, a, th- a third increase would be... Would increase him to over 50,000 HP, which increases his other ability. So he did have a, a faster first person. So our speed's about equal. Do they have reviving on their teams? What I want to know. There's no point in removing debuffs there. I uh, actually there. I was gonna say because there's I don't need healing, but I guess it would just be nice to have removed the debuffs. Come on. Okay, let's get the debuffs off. So I need to kill their weakest. I don't think, again, again, I again don't think they have reviving on their team. Um, can Skullcrown revive? I'm not sure. I said this was going to be a shorter video, but... I guess I got distracted by the arena. This is just another crazy high defense team. I don't think I'm going to beat through it. Yeah, if I can't, like, stun the Bushi or something... My mace created monster is dying really fast. I need to give. I need to get get some sort of shield thing on him. I need to get lots of shield on him. I don't have a shield guy on my th- on my team though. Okay, let's try this. Put the health guy in the lead because they're gonna be faster. One more battle attempt. Forty-eight thousand, holy! Oh, what the fuck was that? I've already wasted animate. No, I put on the extra health so I wouldn't die to something like this. To some crazy strong nuking team. He himself has like no health. If I could have gone first, I could try fighting this team where I get, but with the increased speed lead. So it was the... So this team's just super fast. If I put the speed lead in front instead of the health. If I can manage to go first, if I can get Gorgrob to go first, I can get him to use the increased turn meter, as always, and then hopefully I can stun his one guy. Oh, that's such bullshit. That is such bullshit. And he's already at another fucking full turn meter. If I could have had Gorgrob go slightly faster... I could have incre- I could have made my increased my guy's turn meter and made them go first. Still have the Drakes to stun, and then miscreate a monster too. I guess I would again have had to use his stun because his ally protect wouldn't have done enough. See, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. That's the team I built. They're not perfect. They're first off, they're all only level fifties. I do want to get them to six star sixties, and then they're even better. I can already upgrade two more guys to six star, so I have to get them to six star. I have to finish ascending them, and the gear is pretty bad. I just don't have better gear. But I will keep upgrading those things, and then hopefully we get an even better team. I'll let you know if anything drastically... If my, if anyone gets drastically stronger. But, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, if you like my content, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.